Hello. In this video, we are going to learn about color paint. It is a very easy and free paint program by KDE. With color paint, you can have lots of fun by doing paintings and drawings, editing photos and applying cool effects on it, making icons or logos, or even taking screenshots and editing them. Now, color paint is available on Linux platform, but if you have Windows, not to worry, you can download this application on Windows as well. The link to download and install is available in the description box below. Once you have downloaded and installed color paint, click on the color paint icon on your desktop. You will see a window like this opens up. First, let's understand different components of this main screen. The bar that is present on the top of the color paint window is the title bar. It displays name of the drawing on it. On right side, there are three buttons available. These are minimize, maximize and close buttons. Below the title bar is the menu bar, which has options such as file, edit, view, image, colors, settings and help. Below the menu bar is the main toolbar which has options such as new, open, save, undo, redo, zoom out and zoom in. On the left side of the window is the toolbox. All the interesting tools which we are going to use are grouped together in this. At the end of the video, I will also tell you some cool tricks you can do with these different tools. On the bottom, you will see the color box which has the color palette from which we can choose the colors to make our drawings. Below the color box is the status bar which gives hints on the left side and on the right side you can get size of the image, bits per pixel and what is the zoom percent of the drawing. The drawing area is the actual area where you are going to draw your image. If you feel your drawing area is small or not of the right size, you can hover over the border area till the icon changes and then drag to change the size of the drawing area. Now let's create something new today. To create a new drawing in color paint, you click the new option in the main toolbar. When you start color paint application, it automatically opens a new drawing area for you and you do not need to click new. Let's select a tool from the toolbox. I am going to select line tool from here which has an image of diagonal line on it. I can also press L2. All the tools here have an alphabet next to it and you can press that from the keyboard to select that tool. You will see as soon as you select the line tool, automatically a box appears below where you can select the thickness of the line. Then you can select the color you like from the color box below and you can draw straight lines with this tool. If you want to draw many connected lines, you can also select connected lines tool. This tool continues drawing lines from the end point of the last line. If you do not like something, you can always press undo above or you can redo it too. Next to line tool, you will see pen tool. It can be used to draw a dot or click and drag to draw a freehand line. Below pen is the brush tool. As soon as you select brush tool, a box appears below where you can select the brush size and shape. You can use a circular, square, slash or backslash brush shape of different sizes. I am showing you how they look when you draw them. On side of the brush is the eraser tool. If you want to erase something from your drawing which you do not like, you can select this tool and rub out your mistakes. Color paint also has another magical eraser called color eraser. It works like the eraser except it will only erase your drawings of the selected color. If you want to erase something without affecting other colored areas, this comes in very useful. Below eraser is the flood fill tool. You can select any color 
and then use it to fill any region in your drawing. Color paint also has a spray can tool which you can use to draw as if you are spray painting. This is also available in three different sizes. Before I tell you about the other tools which helps us to draw shapes, let me tell you more about the color box. We are till now using the color palette to select the colors we want. On the left side of the palette is the color tablet. You see it has two squares, one above the other. The above one shows the foreground color and the square below shows the background color. You can click on the double ended arrow to swap the squares and then set the foreground and background colors. Now where is this background color used? Let's see it in action in shapes. If you select any of the shapes icon, rounded rectangle, rectangle, ellipse or polygon, you will now see two boxes as additional selection items below. From the lower box, you can select the width of the line, but the upper box also has three options. The first one is no fill option, means the shape will have no fill. If you select the second rectangle, you can draw a shape filled with background color and if you select last rectangle, it will fill with foreground color. Color paint also has a color picker tool by which if you hover over any color in your drawing and click it, it will automatically pick up that color. Now you see foreground color is set to this color and now if you draw, it will use this color. Next we will see the curve tool. Here you first draw a line which gives the start and end point of the curve. You can click anywhere or drag the line to make the curve two times. You can also write text on your drawings with text tool. Moment you select the text tool, a text toolbar appears on the top. From here you can select some amazing fonts and set size of your text. You can also make your text bold, italic, underlined or deleted. To write you need to first drag an area where you want to write the text. You can resize the text box and also drag on the border to move it. Here I am showing you how you can select the text and make it bold or italic or underlined. Storing your work is known as save. You need to save your drawings Otherwise, they will be lost once the computer is shut down. To save, you can either click save on main toolbar or in file menu, click on save. When you click on any of them, the save image as window appears. You can type any name for your drawing in the file name, select where you want to save it and click on save button. It will save your drawing by default in .png file format. Now next time when you come in, you can click on the open in the main toolbar. The open image window appears. You can then select the drawing you want to open and click on the open button. When you have finished your drawing, you can take its printout by selecting print option. The print option is found when you click on the menu bar. A dialog box appears where you need to click on the print button. Now I will leave it to you to try different tools to make an amazing drawing. But before I leave, let me tell you some cool tricks. For most of the tools, if you draw with the left mouse button, it will use foreground color. The right mouse button draws with the background color. If you double click the eraser, it will erase the entire drawing. When you use ellipse tool, you can press shift while dragging to draw a perfect circle. To draw an ellipse from a given center point, hold control and then click on the center point and drag until the ellipse is of correct size and shape. This works even for rectangle tool to make squares. In the line tool, if you hold control to draw lines from a single point, it will make lines at a multiple of 30 degrees. 
If you hold shift to draw lines, it will make lines in multiples of 45 degrees. If you hold both control and shift to draw lines, it will draw in multiples of 30 or 45 degrees. You can zoom when not drawing by scrolling the wheel while holding control. To exit from paint, you can click on the cross or close button on the title bar. If you like this video, do press like and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you and goodbye.